Hey guys, hopefully this is another video that will help some people that are kind of new to this. Here's clothesline rope, just cotton rope. I bought off Amazon. It's 200 foot, $10.20. I don't remember how much I paid for this. Here's hooks, swivel hooks. I bought six of them for $5.34 from Amazon. Here's twine. I got it at a yard sale for a quarter. There's little eye hooks. Twine and rope are so good to have as anything prepper. Anything prepper, anything emergency. Here's also tie hooks. Okay, why I'm showing this, and hopefully you can use it to help save you some money, either on your electric bill or that you can use... Um, when you have no electricity all, at all, you may have to go to resorting to the old ways. This isn't completely old way, but this is a fold-up, stand-up clothes dryer, clothes drying rack that I got off of uh, Marketplace for $10. So that's one method. That can go in your house real real easily, and then you, when you don't need it, you fold it up. Okay, that... That rope, the clothesline rope, and actually the braided rope I used here. I just put a, it was actually one strand, but I started it over there with an eye hook and I tied it. Then I ran it over here to where I did an eye hook. And then I came back. Voila, over there. So now I have a clothesline. There's my kids' clothes. And if y'all can't tell by that, my kids are that type. You gotta wash the kids' clothes. So, and now I have a clothesline. Whether there's utilities, if the electric is up or not, I can save some money by either using a hanger to hang up stuff or use the over. Now, you. Preps, preppers and homesteaders that's been doing this a while, this is old news to y'all. You off-grid people. So this is geared for others. Look at my wonderful porch. I love this. I am so thankful and grateful. Although, this is part of a divorce settlement, so it's not like it's all wonderful news, but that's a, another story. And there's always good news, even amongst bad news, just... So some of y'all know. Okay. Oh, it is a beautiful day out there. I was just going to show you that. Thank you, Lord. It's so good. Oh, I have not yanked your chain. So I'm going to end with, in this Thanksgiving season, First Chronicles 16.34. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever so remember that uh, we need to be try to be thankful in all things even amongst separations divorce arguments health issues even deaths there is things there are things to be joyful about if you can't count your blessings in the good times Unfortunately, you probably won't in the rough times either. And I don't know about you, but I need a little bit of hope sometimes. God bless you. God loves you. Take care. I hope this helps somebody just to think of other ways to do, to try to save some money and survive in what's coming. Bye.